we the, the the one that you're referring to where we're now uh somewhat increasing our presence and having to increase our presence based on the actions of the crowd uh in front of the shadow laurier once we had uh transitioned um and holding the um, Rideau Sussex area in front of the Chateau Laurier. Um, the cause and effect was that we had the massive group, the larger group from uh, Wellington Street now descending down onto that area. Um, there was, it was definitely an aggressive crowd, volatile crowd, uh, where we had to make some decisions to um, increase our usage of force uh in order to uh protect ourselves and properly deal with the uh the situation at hand we had to maintain public order action presence 24 7 until it was completely cleared uh and uh, a pause on movement um took place later in the evening um and we held that spot um at in front of the Shadow Laurier um, in order, and believe it or not, that part of the operation, there was a lot of work to do. Uh, there was a, the, the, the towing of, of multiple vehicles from that site is very time consuming. Uh, some of the vehicles were perhaps disabled or uh, in a fashion that would be difficult to tow. So we had all the right resources in time uh, in place however it took time to remove those vehicles. So we did not want to get too far ahead of ourselves. We, once again, slow, methodical. Uh, what was controlling a lot of the progression was how fast we can manage the arrested individuals, uh, which we did get uh, very over capacity uh, through that second portion. Um, but it's also the, the time that it takes to actually tow and clear those areas and then install some fencing to ensure that area remained clear. Superintendent Bernier stated that the February 13th plan did not rely on powers granted under the EMCPA. That's the Provincial Act, right? Correct. And that the Federal Emergency Declaration did not, did not significantly, did not significantly impact his planning process. Superintendent Bernier did not know that the federal government was going to declare a public order emergency on February 13th. I take that to mean that on February 13th, you did not know that the federal government was going to declare a public order emergency. And you stated that you would have carried out the police operation whether or not the federal government declared a public order emergency. Explain that to us. The plan that I was developing was based on existing authorities whether it be under the provincial, federal, or common law authority, um, to, to act. Um, this is what takes place on a daily basis on those larger type events. We have to leverage the, those, those particular authorities that exist. The plan that I was building uh, with my integrated command table uh, and the advice that I was getting and having the right people from the right backgrounds providing their input, I was satisfied that we were going to have all the authorities we need to take action if the communication and the negotiation piece of our stabilization plan was not successful in having that area cleared and the city returned to a state of normalcy. And in this paragraph, you actually refer to some of those authorities that existed apart from the emergency powers, such as, um, you said, authorities under common law, municipal bylaws, and provincial and federal statutes. Uh, you also noted uh, the criminal code and common law authorized police to control access to an area during an ongoing police operation, and that the Highway Traffic Act permits police to seize and tow vehicles that are abandoned or obstructing roadways. Superintendent Bernier stated that he did not need to rely on powers granted under the Emergencies Act to compel towing companies to supply trucks or drivers to the police. He stated that this was unnecessary because by February 13th, OPP had assembled 34 tow trucks with willing drivers. 
in order that police guarantee the companies and drivers anonymity and place police crest on the trucks and covered company markings to ensure anonymity. He stated that he had no knowledge of whether the power granted under the Emergencies Act to compel towing companies to assist protected those companies and their drivers from being blamed by protesters and protesters sympathizers for assisting the police. Now, is all of that accurate? That is very accurate. And in terms of the, um, the arrangement to secure those tow trucks, were those ar arrangements made before or after the 14th of February? Majority of the arrangements were all done uh, by the 13th because they were actually in transit to Ottawa. Um, that being said, there was some final, uh, obviously, contract and finance uh, work that needed to be uh, taken care of uh, in the days that followed. Um, but to my knowledge, we did not have to adopt any um, processes under the Emergencies Act to compel any of them to follow through on their actions. 